Hey everyone, so as per the title of the video, today's video is about the Barclays banking app. And as many people have posted um, since the jailbreak, basically we've, we've all been having problems with banking apps, uh, various different types. I was lucky enough that my main bank, TSB, hasn't been affected. However, I do actually use Halifax. I've not been able to find a workaround for Halifax just yet. However, I have found a way of getting the Barclays app working. And this process should also work for other banking apps as well. Well, it won't work for all of them i've sort of trialed it with halifax but i can't get it working but in theory there will be other apps out there that will uh, work with this method so what i've done is initially i've just installed the uh, most up-to-date barclays app as you can see here so in the app store it just says open so no update or anything like that so it's showing that this is the the most up-to-date app and if i click into it what you will see is initially it'll just hang and sometimes it just closes out straight away but essentially it won't actually go into the app this is a combination of liberty light as well as kern bypass i believe kern bypass might be what's actually keeping it running so long in the background usually it'll actually close down a lot sooner but i'll just come into my tweaks and i'll show you that in fact what i might do is just make sure you know let's turn kern bypass off just try it again and once again it's, it's just hanging and then it crashes Liberty light is activated as you can see it is activated if I turn that off and try it There you go. So it gives me this particular message. So without uh, Liberty light activated it just tells you straight away. It's it's jailbroken device. It won't work once I activate it And then try Okay, so now it's giving me that message because it's actually detected now but obviously now that I've killed the app it won't go in so as you can see it definitely isn't working so what I'll do is I'll delete the app do is I'll show you first how to get this particular application so what you want to do is come into Cydia and you want to install this source so cocuspocus.github.io and once you go into that what you want to install is this one here I've actually got it from a different repo um, I didn't actually realize what the original repo was um, I it literally just came up on my list on Cydia and I installed it to try it but I think it is actually a free app anyway so it's not like um, you need to get a cracked version or anything the version that number I've got is exactly the same so 0.9.10 if there isn't more up-to-date version um, at the time of you viewing this video then you might want to actually update and try that version but for me right now for certain applications this uh, particular version is working so you install App Store Plus Plus and then what you do is come across to the App Store and search for it in exactly the same way as you would normally do you come into it and rather than hitting the the little cloud and just letting it download or if you've not downloaded before hitting the um, get or buy or whatever option it gives you you hold it it. That will then bring up this manage application win uh, window. Now in theory the upgrade downgrade option should work as well that for me never actually works with this particular version so what you want to do is hit on manual install. That will then bring up a almost like a background kind of um, list and I think the one that we tried was one two three four so just the fourth one down so March 4th 2020. I can't remember exactly if it was this this particular one but we'll give it a shot. So what you do is you literally just hold on the build number so if you zoom in here you can see the build you literally just hold on that and you hit copy and then you just hit done and when you come back it's automatically populated the uh, field with the the build number and then you just hit install and then if you come out to the main page as you can see it's installing now that it's installed what we'll do is we'll just double check liberty light and as you can see it's still enabled just there and once we come across, we hit the app, and as you can see, it's gone straight in. Now, as I don't have an account, I can't actually test this personally. However, I have had uh, subscribers tell me that they have managed to log straight into the application and they are able to use it using this particular method. Now, one thing I would recommend is once you've done it in that particular way, um, I've not actually tested this once again, but I'd suggest just turning on block updates So it doesn't actually just automatically update in the background as I say I'm not 100% sure whether this will work whether it will prevent it from Automatically updating in the background some people like to keep automatic uploads uh, updates on 
for other apps so gaming apps things like that where they don't want to click into it and then have to download a, a large update file so for that reason a lot of people that jailbreak will still leave automatic updates enabled in the background and obviously if if you were to follow this method and come to it the next day and it's updated it no longer be working and you you'd end up in a cycle of repeating this forever basically so obviously try that um, if you do try this let me know down in the comments below firstly if for whichever banking apps you've tried it with secondly whether the block automatic updates whether that's actually working for you and also if it doesn't work with any particular apps um, post that down below as well at this moment in time with the build versions that i've tested for halifax i believe it does not work i haven't really needed to test it with any additional apps so obviously that's for you guys out there whichever banking app you've got it's worth giving you a shot just try the various build numbers some of them will only have a few listings so it might only have three or four i've uh, with halifax for example it goes right back to i think it was 2016 let's have a look if we just come in and we'll search for halifax we go in and if i search on manual install as you can see this is going right but yeah so right back to 2016 now unfortunately with this particular app any of the older ones um, i didn't get all the way to the the latest build but I, I tried a few of the really old ones and unfortunately it gives you a message saying you have to actually update um, it won't let you into the application so certain apps will work others won't but obviously the more we we post the messages down in the comments and just help each other out basically before i finish i've had to post this quite often i'm getting a lot of comments and basically a lot of the, the, the comments are coming from people that aren't actually subscribed. The simplest option for you is literally just subscribe to the channel and any new updates, new methods, new tweaks, or if I find an app that does actually work and it allows you to actually access your banking application, I will post a video on it. I can't do it straight away all the time because I am in full-time work at the moment as well. So I am literally doing these videos in and around my work hours. Sometimes I'm, I'm trying testing these at work and basically it's, it's taking a massive toll on my battery life. So I get home, I then have to recharge the battery before I can then go and do some more testing. So for anybody that's watching the videos, please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon. That way, if I post any new videos, you'll be notified about it and basically you'll see it straight away. So you won't need to keep coming back to the comments section or anything like that. Um, straight away, you'll get a notification and basically you can just click into that particular updated video. And if there's a, a process that works for your particular app, then obviously you've got it right there. As I say, do post down below in the comments which apps you're trying it with, which ones work and which ones don't work. Um, just so then other, other viewers can actually use that information to know straight away whether they've been able to get it working or not but not everybody is following the process uh, correctly I have seen that as well where certain people have said to me certain applications aren't working when I've actually replicated it on my device and it's working perfectly well so I'm not sure whether that is a bug with certain um, builds in certain devices for example the snapchat bug um, I've not been able to replicate that my snapchat is still working fine and I've not installed any tweaks for it my son's snapchat basically got blocked the first day he installed the um, uncovered jailbreak so it could be that it's device specific as well but essentially what I'll do is any updates I get I'll post them as soon as I can so just make sure that you give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and share with as many people as possible as well thanks very much for watching